Kalama Township. Welcome back to Season 6, Episode 6 of The Tribe. I'm Brad. I'm Cam. The Pink Owl football game will be October 18th. The homecoming parade will begin at St. David's Lutheran Church this Friday at 6 p.m. and end at the high school stadium. The football game will start at 7. The King and Queen will be announced at halftime. There will be a mandatory meeting for any students in grades 9 through 12 who would like to participate in the 4th Annual Volleyball Marathon on Friday, October 11th in the auditorium. All students who would like to participate must attend. No exceptions. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Tassari. That's all for this week, CT. See you next week. Hello, welcome back. Mary, I'm over here. <laughs> there you go. Hi, welcome back to Today in History. On this day in 1924, the New York Yankees became the first team to compete in four consecutive World Series. See you next week. Have a great weekend. Dump truck in the flesh. Here comes the cootie squad. You should shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Look who's with her. Oh my god. Dang, dang, diggity, dang, 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 diggity, dang. Pick up, Alice. Post up, Alice. Round, round in it, Alice. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm Bella. Welcome back to Pop News, where we update you with the celebrity gossip of the week. Local police departments announced that there will be officers outside of theaters on opening weekend of the Joker movie. They also announced that it is not for kids. Kylie Jenner just recently announced that her and Travis Scott will be taking a break. This week, Gwen Stefani turned 50 and ASAP Rocky turned 31. See you next week. Hi, I'm Tyler Norman. On this weekend, it's fun on fun. Hi, Kai. Hi, 15 52. On Sunday, 14 Sunday. Hi, 52 42. And on Sunday, 40 Sunday was Wednesday. Hi, 37 49. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice day. Bye, to do you. Hi, welcome back to Question of the Week. I'm Brad and I have Mr. Kramer here. Hello. Mr. Kramer, how do you like your steak cooked? I prefer medium, that way whenever I order it, if it's overcooked, uh, not too much of an issue. If it's undercooked, also not too much of an issue. Okay, okay. Do you have a favorite conspiracy theory? Uh, yes, I like the simulation theory. Uh, I think the chance that this is possibly a game that we're going through uh, has a high probability of actually being true. I'm Kenzie, this is Connor. What's your favorite scarf? Um, the one on my leg is newer. Where'd you get it from? Uh, ACL surgery. And what's your biggest pet peeve? Um, my biggest pet peeve is whenever I'm taking a test and there are like, people like fidgeting with their pencil or knocking on something. Hi guys. Hi. Where are you right now? At Walmart. Walmart. And you're shopping for Cafe 118? What's our meal this week? Hey, um, hey, ham and cheese, uh, shambouli. Ooh, and Sam, what's the side? The sal Bernice. salad. And With a brownie sundae. You got lots of ingredients so far. Teachers, are you tired of getting a normal lunch on Thursdays? Then come down to Cafe 118, where our students have handmade food ready for you if you are in the mood for something different. We have a menu that changes weekly so you can get something new every Thursday. If you are a teacher who doesn't want to eat alone, then feel free to eat in room 118. Please keep in mind that space is limited and we fill up fast. Thank you and have a great day. 
I'm not the kind of person that it fits. She said, Where'd you wanna go? How much you wanna risk? I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gifts, some superhero, some fairy tale place, just something I can turn to, somebody I can miss. I want something just like this. Till the lights go out, till my leg give out, can't shut my mouth, till my bone pull out, till the roof comes on, till the lights Hello and welcome back to this week's sports. I'm Hannah and I'm Brittany. <laughs> This week, the girls' varsity soccer team brought home a win against Wimber, 4-0, and lost to Holidaysburg on Tuesday, 3-2. They play on Saturday at 5 at the CT Stadium. Come out and support. The boys' varsity soccer team played Wimber on Monday and tied 1-1 in double overtime. They also play on Saturday at 7. Come out and support. The volleyball, the volleyball team played Myersdale on Monday and won. They played Tuesday against Berlin and lost, and Thursday they played Salisbury and won. Their next game is Tuesday against Conemaugh Valley at home. Come out and support. Grace Thomas, a member of the golf team, also qualified for regionals. Lastly, the football team took a hard loss to Shade last week, but are looking to get a win this Friday as they play Portage for the homecoming game at 7. Come out and support. And now to Callie and Carson with the sports interview. This is Connor Adams. He is a senior on the varsity football team. How is your season going so far? Um, right now we're 2-4. and four which ideally we wanted to do better leading off our season, but we're pulling together and we're putting in the extra work, so we're putting it all there so that we can come out and make something happen this Friday. And what do you see your team is doing well? Um, the number one thing that I feel we're doing well is a lot of young guys are stepping into big positions and you know, adapting to the new formations and doing what they need to do to really bring the team together. And what is your favorite NFL football team? got to say the Carolina Panthers. You know, I'm a big Luke Keekley guy. Okay, thank you, Connor. First things first, I'm going to say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. Oh, ooh, the way that things have been. Oh, ooh. Second thing. From a young age, taking my soak into oh, the knowledge. Ain't this what they've been waiting for? Hello, I'm here with Randy. What's your favorite part of the fall? Maybe the leaves color. That's pretty cool. Hello, I'm here with two sixth graders. What's your favorite part of the fall? Yeah. Alright, cool man. Hi, I'm here with Teo. What's your favorite part of the fall? Uh, wearing sweaters and eating pumpkin pie. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to Conema Competitions. Today we are here with Ian, Jack, and Jackson, and we are going to do a limbo challenge in honor of Hawaiian Day. Let's get right to it.
All right, we got a tie right now, so we're gonna do the classic tiebreaker. One round of rock, paper, scissors, winner takes all. Go ahead. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And Jack wins. Mm. How are you feeling after that big win? Feeling great. My first win. Yeah, all right. Uh, what do you like more, Silver Bell or Schaefer's? Schaefer's. That's fair. The girl them skill or chip. Thunderball. Some give it to, some give it to, some give it to. Five million and forty. Yes. Go. Welcome back to the middle school trial with Kendra and Allison. The homecoming parade is tonight at 6 and the football game is at 7. The ping out game is October 18th. See you next week. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the tribe. I'm Logan. I'm Dylan. And I'm Max. The junior high boys soccer team won 10 to 1 against Berlin, 7 to 0 against Forest Hills, and 13 to 0 against Cambria Heights this week. The girls won 5 to 0 against Forest Hills and 7 to 0 <coughs> against Cambria Heights. Junior high football had a game on Thursday against Shape. See you next week. Hi, and welcome back to the question of the week. I'm Hannah. And I'm Ava. And today we're here with Andy and Tana. And the question is, what are you most excited for, Thanksgiving or Halloween? Thanksgiving. Halloween. And now we're here with Taylor and Brianna. And the question is, what are you most excited for, Halloween or Thanksgiving? Halloween. Halloween. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See you next week. I'm Deja, Morley, and Carson. And here are the birthdays of the week. Happy birthday to Owen Costo, Alexis Savage, Cheyenne Jacobs, Will Lawyer, Joey Crumb, Jonathan Kaufman, Dylan Deathball, Evan Grimes, Brooke McDermott, Tasha Terebrin, Ben Cotton, Cameron Burloff, Michaela Yiffen, Aubrey Jones, Sierra Laporta, Haley Thomas, Brandon Boring, Cody Levine, and Maggie McCutcheon. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. See, See you next week. week. I think Mr. Plummer had the best America Day outfit today, and I'm really ashamed of him for not willing to be on the drive in his amazing outfit. You should show that stash to the world. I think Tanner Thomas looked the best for USA Day. I think uh, Mackenzie Statler looked really cute today for um, America Day, and the Roman girls, Emily and Maddie, have really cool headbands on, so they really decked out. For uh, go to Western Wednesday there, I, I believe old Sammy Thomas, eighth grade, I think he wore it the best. He's got a real nice get up on. You're gonna have to get him on camera though. I don't know where to find him, but Sammy Thomas wore it the best, in my opinion. Happy Western Wednesday. I think Ruby and Hunter dressed the best. I think Kelly Hooper dressed the best for Western Wednesday. Honestly, out of everybody, I thought Ollie Flores really did dress the best for Western Wednesday. Um, I think Connor Adams dressed the best for the boys. I think Ariel dressed the best for the last day. I think Ruby Kornowski dressed the best for Hawaiian Day. I think all the students dressed great for CT Spirit Day.
think we will go far this year. Yeah. <laughs> what? My favorite you... part of fall is... Mm. No, we need... You need to get off the couch. <laughs> you need to ask me the question. Wait, I'm always on this stuff. Aloha, Konama. Me, you. Wait, me, you. Wait, you, me, you, me. Wait, me, you, me, you, me. Yeah.